the introduction of Electude for students. By now you should have received a login either from the Electude platform or your automotive instructor. To get started, go to your Electude school site and then click on the student tab. Next, type in your username and password provided to you by your instructor or the elect email from Electude. After you log in for the first time, review and agree to the terms of service. Then you're going to specify a new password. This will be your permanent password that you'll use from now on. Next, confirm your user identity and click OK. Now you'll see your content folders provided to you by your instructor or instructors. In this case, I only have one content folder, but you may have more than this. Click on the content folder and the subfolder to begin. So when you enter a course in Electude, you're going to see the title up here at the top. Underneath, you're going to see a progress bar. So Electude's kind of like a video game. You're going to learn through a process we call guided self-discovery. So these lessons are designed for learning and practice. It's a safe place for you to kind of mess around, make mistakes, and learn through a process of trial and error, just like you do in a video game. And then we have a quiz, which you kind of want to treat like a challenge at the end. So unlike the lessons that you can repeat over and over, these quizzes you can only take once. So be careful, don't start these until you feel you've kind of mastered the content. There's not very many questions, so if you miss even a couple, you're gonna fail. So let's start by going here to the top and click on our first lesson, Start Module. In Electude, there's always gonna be some sort of interactive animation here to the left. Um, over here to the right, this first area, this is the text or the page. You can have it read to you out loud by clicking this, but make sure you read this thoroughly. This is important information, but on purpose, Electude leaves certain bits of information out of the text because they want you, the learner, to discover certain things through interacting with the animation. This lesson starts out pretty simple by having you identify certain parts. So first thing it's asking you to do is identify the hub. Don't worry that you don't know what the hub is at this point. If you click here, you get a guided feedback statement to kind of push you in the right direction. Once you click on the hub, now we're looking for the brake disc and the brake caliper. Once you answer the question right and you get a guided feedback statement, you can proceed to the next question. So here we get a new animation, uh, and again, we're looking for parts on the screen. A lot of Electude introductory lessons, if it has the word basic on it, they start out like this, and they're, pretty, they're rather simple. But uh, as you progress through the lesson, things are going to get a little bit more challenging. Um, so it's always a good practice to, when you complete the, the activities on page one, to exit the lesson and review. We'll answer this one more question, and then we'll uh, exit and see how we're doing on our score. So brake disc, uh, piston, brake pads. You can click either of the blue dot for a target, or you can even click over here. The blue dot just kind of gives you a target, something to aim at. Press down the brake pedal. So you want to make sure you study these animations pretty well because you're going to learn a lot just through studying these animations. Now we have a guy, now we have a kind of a multiple assessment type question where you have to read each statement and mark it as either true or false. So the pressure in the brake system increases when we push on the pedal. I would say that's true. There's friction between the brake pads and the brake disc. I would say that's probably also true. The piston pushes the brake pad against the brake discs. The brake disc turns faster. Obviously, it comes to a stop. Once you got it right, you can move on to the next question. At any time, you can exit and you can view your score. Now, we made a few mistakes on that first question but mostly we got those questions right, so we're doing pretty good here. When you restart the lesson, you have an opportunity 
to pick up where you left off, or if you go back and practice, you can improve your lesson score even more. Now, if you get the question wrong, it could lower your score, so try do your best to try to get it right. You can skip around and just answer the questions you wish, or you can pick up pick off where you pick up where you left off. And that's kind of your uh, guided tour of Elect2. Um, if you get stuck on a question, you do have a little text button down here at the bottom. You can send your teacher an email. Also, if you get stuck, you do have the option. You can al always go to another lesson and start it. Just be careful. Just to remind you again, don't start these quizzes till A, you finish the lesson, and then B, check your lesson score. Uh, there is no really... Um, perfect score when to start a quiz. You'll learn through the process of going through more of these lessons when you feel you're ready. So whether your score is a 70, a 80, or a 65, whenever you feel ready, then take the short little summative quiz. If you fail a quiz, you can contact your instructor and he or she can reset that quiz. But note, they're probably not going to reset it until they see that your, your uh, score has improved in the lesson. So that's our short introduction to Electude. I hope you enjoy the learning and good day.